Hello and welcome to my channel, Electronic Explained, where we talk about electronics for everyone. Now, today we're going to talk about the resistor. It's one of the most common electronic parts you'll find. So, what we are going to need for this video is a 9 volt battery, uh, LED, doesn't matter which color, I just use a red one, a breadboard, a 9 volt battery clip to connect the battery to the breadboard, and some resistors. Alright, first let's talk a little bit about this LED. This LED runs on 2.5 volts and 20 milliamps. Now this battery is a 9 volt battery so if I were to connect this 9 volt battery directly to this LED it would burn through, it would not hold the voltage and it would simply die. Now the resistor it limits the current if I know that this LED is around 20 milliamps I can limit the voltage by taking on that by taking a resistor that is set to 20 milliamps when I use 9 volts. So 9 volts minus 2.5 volts will give you 6.5 volt. Now 6.5 volt is the voltage we want to be dropped. So we take the 6.5 volt and divide it by the 20 milliamps or 0 0.02 amps. I'll just do that quickly. on 25 ohms. Now since this is not a standard value for a resistor we'll just use 330 ohms. Alright, and that that's out of the way let's start the video. Now we take our breadboard first and let's connect up our 9 volt battery clip to the negative line and positive line not connect the battery yet. So we take our 330 ohm resistor that we just calculated, put it between the positive and one of the pins, doesn't matter, really matter which one. Then connect the LED. Um, the long leg is for positive, the shorter leg is for negative, so the positive leg goes to the resistor, the negative leg goes to the minus of the battery. Now make sure you don't short out it. Alright, let's connect our battery here. And the LED is lighting up. Now, you also have something known as a variable resistor. Basically, the value of the resistor will change when you turn the potentiometer. Alright, now this particular potentiometer is not really breadboard friendly so I soldered some some wires to it so disconnect the battery now if you were to connect the potentiometer directly to the positive and to the LED it would mean if we turn out if we turn the uh, potentiometer, so it will be around 0 ohms, it will still burn through the LED. So we are going to need the 330 ohm resistor in front of the potentiometer, so the voltage will never go higher than 2.5 volts. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to connect the middle leg to the resistor, and one of the one of these legs to our LED or LED. Now we'll just pick the right side. And stick it in your breadboard. It's not really. No, there we go. Again, long leg is positive, short leg is negative. Go ahead and connect these up. Alright, so now if we were to connect this 
Nivel battery. The LED lights up. But if we turn the potentiometer, the value of the resistor will change. So the voltage that will go through the LED will be lower or higher. So we just created our own faded LED. We can fade the LED right now. That's how simple it is. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching uh, to this video. It's the first video on my channel. I'm dedicating this channel to learning young kids and adults alike uh, more about electronics and make them familiar with particular parts like the breadboard and LEDs and resistors. So, I'll see you in the next video.